Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the September Hella Handmade Creations. If you don't know what Hella Handmade Creations is, every month a bunch of different indie makers get together and they contribute one to two products on the Hella Handmade Creations site. That site is then open the 14th to 21st of every month, so this month it'll open on September 14th and it will close on September 21st. In the description box, I will link the Hella Handmade Creations site. I will link their Instagram page. I will link my Instagram page. You can see more swatches for everything from today's video. I will link the Hella Handmade Creations uh, Facebook page, and then I will link all of the makers that I have to share with you down there as well. These products won't be available on the makers' sites. They will only be available on the Hella Handmade Creations site and only during the ordering window, but it is a good look into each brand if it was something you're interested in further exploring. Also, some products are what we call capped, and that just means there's a certain number of those available during the ordering window. If a product has no cap, um, that won't run out of stock while the shop is open. So I do have five of this month's products to look at, and let's go ahead and get started. So first from Colores to Carol, we have Meet George Jetson. This is inspired by the Jetsons, and it's described as a pine green with a candy pearl shimmer and a subtle multidimensional magnetic effect. Um, I will say this one has some serious ugly bottle syndrome, but it doesn't affect application. Formula is smooth, easy to work with. I did stop at two coats, but looking back, I wish I would have gone for three just to make this a little bit more opaque once I magnetized it. You'll also want some top coat to finish this off and removal is easy. So there are two coats of Meet George Jetson. Next up from Limby Designs, we have Captivating Campanelli, and this is inspired by Tasteful Noodles. It's described as a mossy green base with a green to aqua to blue to violet multi-chrome shift. Um, this one is primarily this very bright, beautiful green. I do love the large particle shimmer that's in this, and it's also, it, it gives it like almost a glowy feel. Two to three coats for full coverage, three if you're super picky. You'll definitely want some top coat. It is gonna dry slightly dull, but nothing is gonna dry textured. Removal will be easy. So here is that third coat just to add a little bit more oomph to this. And I do think it rounds the polish out well. So there are three coats of Captivating Campanelli. Up next from Penelope Luz, we have a Matarasu. And this is inspired by the goddess of mythology. It's described as a white crelly base with a gold shimmer and flakes. So you can purchase this one individually or as a set with the next polish. And if you purchase it as a set, the price is $24 for both polishes. I love this one. It's so light, so ethereal, so soft. The gold flakes that are in here are just enough. They're not too much and they're not overwhelming. The polish and the gold shimmer stands out really nicely. Overall, this is a very well-balanced polish. I did do three coats for full coverage. I did have a couple brush strokes, but those weren't apparent once it was dry. You'll want top coat and removals easy. The other Penelope Loose offering is called Sun Goddess. This is um, described as having blue flakes with gold hollow glitters. This is a topper, so I'm going to show you what it looks like first over the uh, over the bare naked natural nail, but I'm also going to show you what it looks like as a topper over the previous polish. I'm just going to show you two coats. doesn't go to full coverage. You can definitely still make out some nail line, obviously, but it is very beautiful on its own. Again, just a soft kind of dainty look. So there's two coats, and then here it is as a topper over the previous polish. I do really like the accent of the blue with the gold. I do think this is a gorgeous combination. So there are one and two coats. And lastly for today from Rogue Lacquer, we have Peter Pan's Shadow. This is inspired by Peter Pan, and it's described as a gray scattered hollow with hollow flakes. On the nail, this one looks almost like a brown toned black, um, but it's a very original color for being such a typical standard color. I do very much enjoy this one. Pretty opaque here on this first coat. I did get full coverage in two coats. These flakes are really embedded in this polish, so you don't have to manipulate them around to spread them out across the nail. You'll want some top coat, and again, removal is easy. So there are two coats of Peter Pan's Shadow. And here's just a quick look of all the polishes that I received this month to share with you. A very, a very um, cohesive looking set here. I do think they're all beautiful. I can't pick a favorite from this set. I like them all individually for their own reasons. 
but this is just a small portion of what's available on the Hello Handmade Creation site. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up. Let me know what your favorite was from today's video. And then let me know what else you've been eyeballing on the Hello Handmade Creations site for September. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I will talk to you again next time.